And I've heard you say multiple times that, you know, the goal of your practice is really to treat each person as an individual, right? Every individual is unique. And I felt like when I first took the SFMA that that really enlightened that for me, where it made me step back and say, this person isn't just a shoulder pain. This person isn't just low back. How, can you can you talk about a little bit how you implemented the SFMA into your chiropractic practice and where it really kind of fits? I guess let's talk about briefly to answer that is how I found the SFMA. So I had a lot of rehab background coming out of school and I'll never forget this one case that came in. His name was Tony. He had acute low back pain. He came in and our whole thing was treat function, not chase pain. That was our model coming out of school back in 2008, 2009. And so I felt really great about that. So the patient came in, had low back pain. I treated him. Uh, by second or third visit, he's giving me a big hug saying, oh my gosh, I'm hundred percent better. I'm cured. Thank you so much for everything you did. And I said, oh, Tony, that's awesome. Yeah. You're out of here. High five. See ya. Fast forward a week later, I'm in Publix and I'm walking past the cereal aisle and I see him picking up a Tony's leaning over, but how he's leaning is barely leaning at all. And he's keeping his back very, very rigid, deep knee bending to pick up the box of lucky charms. And I remember seeing him saying, Oh my goodness. Like what have I done? What I ended up doing was just helping treat the initial inflammatory pain. He thought he was better. And I realized we were doing this with a whole lot of cases. And so I saw that, um, I knew we had to do something better to be more systematic. And I saw that Greg Rose was actually down at the Andrews clinic in Birmingham doing a course in 2009. And I said, you know what? I want to head down there anyway, see what the area is like. And, uh, this opportunity to go see an SMA course and when I walked in there and then when I walked out, I was just completely a different person. It instantly, it was everything that I knew, but I knew where my pieces started to fit finally. It finally started to click. And that was super exciting because now I had the most minimum number of movements that we could possibly do to get a full assessment of an individualized patient. And so what we started to see is like, how do we scale this in chiropractic though? Because the business models, you know, are a little bit different. It's a lower margin business. You got to be really efficient. And what we found was, you know, we started doing a lot of video analysis with these to be able to record our top tiers and then be able to train our therapy assistants to be able to help us with that. So that's where it fits for us. It's part of every single visit. If it's medically safe for them to perform the movements, we do that at initial exam, re-exam, et cetera, et cetera.